Good morning, boys and girls. Today's ELA lesson will focus on phonics and our decodable reader. Today's objective is, students will be able to find and read words with the ow sound in a shared reader and a decodable reader. So we are starting a new unit in Benchmark. We're starting unit nine called We Use Goods and Services. So this is kind of going to go along with our social studies for the next few weeks. In this unit, we will explore using and trading goods and services. To trade means to give or do something to get something in return. Goods are things such as honey and shoes. Services are what people do to make things or to help each other. So here are are some pictures of goods. We have meat from a market. We have shoes. Those are the goods. And for services, we have a doctor and we have a mechanic. Our essential question for this unit is why do people trade with each other? And we can think about this. And we can think about when was the last time you traded with someone? Did you trade for good or service? So let's time, take some time to think about these questions. Why do people trade with each other? And think about your own experience with trading. Something that you might have thought about was the time that you traded a snack with your friend, or maybe you remember going to the grocery store with your mom or dad, and they traded their money for the groceries that you bought. So these are all different ways that we can trade with each other. And I'm going to play our benchmark video for this unit just to keep introducing what we're going to be learning about. We use goods and services. People buy goods and services to get what they need and want. The food you eat is a good. Your teacher provides you a service. Each person can make and do some things, but no one can make and do everything. Why do people trade with each other? So again, we will be exploring our essential question as we go through the unit. Today, we're going to read one of our shared reading stories called Almond Milk. Listen as I read the story to you. Almond Milk. Many people drink and enjoy cow's milk. However, some people can't drink dairy milk. They drink almond milk instead. Almond milk is good for you, and some people think it tastes even better than cow's milk. You can buy almond milk, but making it at home is easy. First, soak raw almonds in water. Then, pour the water off. Blend the nuts with fresh water until the mixture is smooth. Add vanilla if you like. Now, as I read the story, I noticed that there are some ow words. Some of these words make the ow sound. The first word I saw was the word cow. Say the word with me. Cow. So as you notice, the letters O and W make the ow sound. Now I'm going to read another sentence with you. And I want to know, can you find the word that makes the ow sound? Listen for it as I read. However, some people can't drink dairy milk. I'll read it one more time. However, some people can't drink dairy dairy milk. What was the word that made the owl sound? Hmm. Correct. The word however makes the owl sound 
and that's created by the letters O and W together. And now we're going to move on to our decodable reader. This week, we are reading In Our Town by Ravi Anin. And in this story, we're going to hear a lot of our words that have the owl sound. Listen as I read. This is our town. A lot of people work in our town. Let's find out how things get done. It is even before dawn. This driver goes up and down the streets. Now they will be clean when people leave their houses. A crowd waits. Here is the bus bound for downtown. The driver smiles and asks, How are you today? In winter, snow may pile up on the ground. Out comes the plow. The mounds get bigger. This mound is the biggest. Dark clouds fill the sky. A mail carrier still makes her rounds. She brings mail from way up north and way down south. Clang, clang, clang. Here come the firefighters. Turn on the spout, one of them shouts. Wow, the fire is out. We count on the people in our town. We are proud of them. They make our town a good place to live. And here are some ow words. We have bound, clouds, count, crowd, down, ground, houses, how, mound, now, hour, out, plow, proud, rounds, shouts, south, spout, town, and wow. And notice how some of our words have the ow sound and they're spelled with an o u and an o w now that we read our story we're going to do an echo read and i would like for you to repeat after me let's start with our title in our town this is our town a lot of people Work in our town. Let's find out how things get done. It is even before dawn. This driver goes up and down the streets. Now they will be clean. When people leave their houses, a crowd waits. Here is the bus bound for downtown. The driver smiles and asks, How are you today? In winter, Snow may pile up on the ground. Out comes the plow. The mounds get bigger. This mound is the biggest. Dark clouds fill the sky. A mail carrier still makes her rounds. She 
brings mail from way up north and way down south. Clang, clang, clang. Here come the firefighters. Turn on the spout. One of them shouts. Wow. The fire is out. We count on the people. In our town, we are proud of them. They make our town a good place to live. Excellent job reading with me. And now I'm going to introduce our activity. I would like for you to please answer the following questions about the story. Write your answers in complete sentences. Our questions are, number one, what kinds of services do the town workers perform? Number two, why is this town a good place to live? Number three, how is the town in the story like your own city or town? When you're done, take a picture of your work and submit it on your portfolio. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.